The way in which you use or misuse credit cards will become an important part of your credit score. It's an important part for virtually everyone. You already know that if you're late and you go past the due date, you're going to get a penalty. And you probably know that if you're 30 days late or worse, it gets reported to the credit bureau, which is something we really want to avoid. So let's talk about credit cards. One of the very important matters that most people don't know about when it comes to credit cards is that the statement closing date is the date that's reported to the credit bureaus. And that's important because of the all-important debt-to-available credit ratio. Your due date, of course, is important. You don't want to miss that. But if you can make the statement closing date your own personal due date, it will help your credit score to stay high. And I'm going to explain why. Your statement closes on a certain day of the month, which is different than the due date. Don't confuse the two. Your due date may be the 5th, but your statement may close out on the 15th, for example. Now, if you have a $1,000 credit limit, and you're running a $900 bill up to the day before the statement closes, and then pay the $900, it will be reported to the credit bureau as if you owe nothing, giving you a wonderful uh, debt to available credit ratio of only a few dollars or nothing at all. Even though you have had a $900 balance up to the point before the statement closed. Now, as long as you do that for the entire month after you've paid it, it doesn't matter how close you go to your credit limit because if you pay it again the following month, just before the statement is closed, It'll be that closed statement that's reported to the credit bureau. So to the credit bureau's computer, you're not carrying any debt. And that is a very high uh, component of your credit score, as I've explained and we'll go into further as we go along with the course. So don't miss your due date, of course, but keep the statement closing date in mind. This is very important. The debt to available credit ratio is the second most important part of your score next to paying in a timely way. Now, if by chance you do mess up and you go past your due date, you're going to get a penalty. But if you call customer service and ask them to waive the penalty, a lot of times they will. At least most companies will do one a year uh, if you ask them. And you don't have to come up with a big story. Just tell them you forgot or give them a good reason and say, I'm a good customer. Will you consider waiving it? And most of the time, they'll do it and be very nice about it. If your only contact with credit card customer service has been when you're late and you found the person to be rude, impolite, or get on your nerves, it would be better for you to get over the idea that the customer service is your enemy. Be proactive with the customer service. Don't be afraid to ask for an increase in your line of credit once you've established a, a long history or a, at least a year's worth of history of steady on-time payments because the increased credit is a wonderful thing because it automatically increases your debt to available credit ratio and helps your score that way, as well as giving you a cushion for an emergency. So these simple things with credit cards you should keep in mind, that it's not rocket science, that the statement date is what is reported to the credit bureau, and if you can pay prior to the statement date, it doesn't matter how high you run it otherwise. Um, the customer service department is better served when you're active. They make notes. It's on your file that you've called. If you're going to be late, just call them and tell them you know, the, the real reason. You don't have to come up with a big story. And a lot of times they will waive that fee for you. And as far as interest is concerned, you can talk to them about that. So you're better off making your contact with them and letting them know that you care, that you're interested. And I guarantee you, you'll be surprised at the result, even if you've had bad, bad prior experiences. So all these things will help you keep your credit card accounts in order, and that will help you keep your credit score in order, particularly paying down as much as you can before the statement is closed.